let's talk about circle. Did you know that the greatest invention of all time was a circular wheel? You see circles everywhere in your everyday life, whether natural or man-made. Remember that a circle is formed if the cutting plane is parallel to no generator but perpendicular to the axis of the cone. Now what is a circle? A circle is a set of all points on a plane that are equidistant from a fixed point on the plane. The fixed point is called the center, and the distance from the center to any point of the circle is called the radius. When writing the equation of a circle, we write it either in standard form or general form. First, let's discuss the standard form of the equation of a circle. We obtain an equation of the circle centered at the origin, 0, 0, and radius r using the distance formula. Recall that the distance formula is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Suppose point x, y is on the circle. To derive the equation of a circle whose center is at the origin with radius r, we let point x, y be one of the points in the circle. The distance from the center to point x, y is equal to r, the radius. To find the value of r, we let the center 0, 0 be the first point. Thus, we have x sub 1 and y sub 1, and the point x, y be the second point, where x is our x sub 2 and y is our y sub 2. By the distance formula, we have the square root of x sub 2, which is x, minus x sub 1, which is 0, raised to 2, plus y sub 2, which is y, minus y, which is 0, raised to 2 equals r. By squaring the two sides, where the square root symbol will be crossed out, we are then left with x squared because x minus 0 is x raised to 2 plus y minus 0 is y raised to 2 equals r squared. And this is now the standard form of equation of a circle whose center is at the origin with radius r. What if the center is not on the origin, but at the arbitrary point h, k? What would the equation of the circle be like? The equation of the circle, whose center is at the point h, k, and with radius r, is derived in similar manner. We let the center h, k be the first point, where x sub 1 is equal to h, and y sub 1 is equal to k and point x, y, the second point, where x sub 2 is equal to x and y sub 2 is equal to y. By the distance formula, we have square root of x sub 2, which is x, minus x sub 1, which is h, squared, plus y sub 2, which is y, minus y sub 1, which is k, raised to 2, equals r. Square both sides, we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And this is the standard form of equation of a circle whose center is not on the origin. So that's how we derived the equation of circle in standard form. So whenever you deal with circle in standard form, you need to identify first the center. If the center is located at the origin, the standard equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. We just need to replace the equation with the value of r. But if the center is not on the origin, we use x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared as the standard equation. The standard form of equation of the circle is also known as center radius form. Now let us work on some examples. Example number one. Find the standard form of the equation of the circle given the center and the radius. Draw the circle. 
letter A, the center is at 2, 1, with R equals 2. Letter B, the center is at the origin, with R equals 5. For letter A, since the center is at 2, 1, where H is equal to 2, and K is equal to 1, with radius 2, therefore, we use the equation x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, since the center is not on the origin. Then, we replace the value of h, which is 2, and k, which is 1, equals the value of r, which is 2. Simplify the radius, 2 squared is equal to 4. And this is now the standard form of the circle with center at 2, 1, and radius 2. For letter B, since the center is located at the origin, we use the equation x squared plus y squared equals r squared. We just need to replace r with 5 and simplify. 5 squared is equal to 25. And this is the standard equation of the circle centered at the origin with radius 5. To sketch the graph of a circle for letter A, simply plot the center first, which is at 2, 1. And since the radius is equal to 2, from the center, we count 2 units to the right and plot the point. Also count 2 units to the left, 2 units up, and 2 units down from the center. Then we can now connect these points to draw the circle. And this is the graph of the equation x minus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 4. Same process for letter B. Plot the center, which is located at the origin. Then from the center, count 5 units to the right, up, left, and down, since the radius is equal to 5. Then connect these points, and we now have the graph of x squared plus y squared equals 25, with radius 5 centered at the origin. Another example. Find the standard form of the equation of the circle with center at negative 1 and 1 and diameter 4. Remember that we need a center and a radius to find the standard equation of a circle. In the problem, instead of the radius, we are given the value of diameter. Recall that the diameter of a circle is twice the length of its radius, that is, d is equal to 2 times r. Therefore, to solve for r given the diameter, we divide the equation by 2. We crossed out 2, that's why we have d over 2 equals r. Therefore, the radius is equal to d over 2 or 1 half times d. We can now use this formula to solve for r given the diameter. Thus, replace d with 4 and simplify. 4 divided 2 is 2, and we now have the value of r. Therefore, we can now find the standard equation of the circle with center at negative 1 and 1, where h is equal to negative 1 and k is equal to 1. Since the center is not on the origin, we use the equation x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, and replace the value of h, k, and r. So we have x minus h, which is negative 1, raised to 2, plus y minus k, which is 1, raised to 2, equals r, which is 2, raised to 2. Then simplify. x minus negative 1 will become x plus 1 squared, because negative times negative equals positive. Plus, we copy y minus 1 squared equals 2 squared, which is 4. And this is now the standard equation of the circle. Now to draw the graph, plot the center first, which is at negative 1 and 1. Then, from the center, count 2 units to the right, 2 units up, 2 units left, and 2 units down. And this is the graph of problem number 2 with radius 2 and diameter 4.